Hey, what's up, gamers? Me, Hurt the Gamer, and welcome to Dungeon Dragons Woven Tales of Fate. I know this is a video and stuff, so don't be too surprised. But this will be a new campaign for a hot minute for reasons. Uh, I'm not going to explain them, but this is something new that I'm trying out. We're having a 6 DM campaign. There's going to be 6 DMs, each one having a different player. And we just have separate stories for each chapter and all this stuff until we feel like we can combine them. Anyways, so the Woven Tales of Fate. Basically, it's going to be a campaign with 6 DMs, like I said. So, let me do the introductions of each player's character real quick. Our first one that I'm going off based on who sent what pre or most recent. We have, I'm not going to say who they are. You get to find out on these chapters days, but I'm going to say the character's name and a little quick summary that the person gave me for their said person. Akira Star, a reborn tavern owner who wants to know his past. Next one. Tenson. Tenson is a big. Tenson is strong. He watched over the city he lives in. He's a city watch. Tenson follows God. Tenson fights with the powers of that God gives him. Next one. Leola Adira. Or Adir? Adir. I think it's Adir. Was once a simple go girl born to a simple family, but she wanted to do more. She wanted to be more. That just a simple girl in a kingdom, she wanted to be a hero. Someone the people could look up to. Up to the present day, she helps the kingdom with minor problems and very dangerous problems. And currently, they are spending their... Hard-earned money getting drunk at the tavern. Alright, our next one. Estelle Swan. Estelle lived in the slums after her parents left her and her siblings. And then, boom, three siblings dead and two missing. And now she's just here in denial. Sorry. Scarler. Growing up, he was only close to his sister, but one day she went missing. His parents didn't care much as long as they still had the prince, but he swore he would do anything to get her back. And finally, the last... Player Florian Tribune, a cursed prince who wants to explore the world beyond his castle walls. So these are our players. These are their characters. The DMs, well, I'll just say off every single DM in order. So you know who to expect for what chapter. So, we have Corrupted as the first one. I'm his player. Kiwi, their player, is Crimson. Nex, their player, is Sunday. Crimson, their player, is Kiwi. Me, and my player, is Corrupted. And finally, Sunday, and their player, is Nex. Now, the story of Woven Tales of Fate. 
basically tales are usually just stories, fictional stories made up by people. Fate, though, has other plans. It's just like a string. Straight line across through boundaries. Going through destiny for one person. Each person has their own string of fate. But not always is the string straight. It's not always a straight path. It has some curves then and there. One second you'll be going straight, next you'll be going down, then up, left, right, and so on. Of course, the reason why you take these set paths is because you chose it. Fate doesn't just happen at the blue. Fate is what you choose it to be. Just like destiny. Whenever path you choose, that's what fate brought you to. Just like a golden strand with a string. Everything comes to an end. And these heroes, villains, antagonists, they all experience fate and destiny because they have chosen their path and there's no going back. For every path they choose, it gets blocked off and a new one opens up. For each of our heroes, their fate will bring them to a woven tale told by six DMs. Where will fate lead us? Who knows? You're gonna have to stay tuned and figure out with us where fate will lead us all. And that is kind of the introduction to what's to come in Woven Tales of Fate. If you guys did enjoy this little video, this little introduction to our new campaign, then please leave a like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notified for the live upload video, and hope to see you all in the future. Bye!